Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yu Wowen. I'm from the Institute of Information Engineering, Chinese Academy of Science. I'm very honored to present my work at this conference. Next, I will give this talk in five parts. The first part introduces our proposed semi-open information extraction task. With the explosive growth of the web corpora, extracting structured knowledge from unstructured open domain and diverse web text has become increasingly important to the web content mining. This task is known as Open Information Extraction OpenIE. An OpenIE system usually converts natural text to semi-structured representations by extracting a set of relational facts organized as triples in the form of subject, predicate, object from plain text itself, which does not rely on predefined ontology schema. Where OpenIE aims to extract all possible facts in the text, we observe that in lots of knowledge-driven applications, we are not interested in all facts, but those associated with a specific entity. For example, in the task of knowledge-based question answering, we often have a target entity and hope to enrich it with related informative facts for better understanding. Retrieving such facts from existing knowledge bases serves as a possible solution. However, where current knowledge bases are quite large, they are usually incomplete due to the dynamics of this world. This is to say, some target entities may lack facts in knowledge bases rather than in the real world. Therefore, it is necessary to explore how to extract open domain facts from the web corpora towards a target entity. We name this new paradigm as semi-open information extraction, semi-open IE, because it inherits the domain-independent property of OIE. We are restricting one involved entity. To facilitate research on this new task, we released a large-scale human annotated benchmark called semi-open IE dataset, SOIED. We conclude that the most of the factual knowledge related to a target subject entity can be classified into the two classes. The first one is relational fact, including description, synonym, and a hyponym. Table 1 shows an example for the target subject, National Social Security Fund. In some cases, predicate or objects in relational fact may be discontinuous, such as employer payment. Our data is collected in three stages. Firstly, we generate a target entity set by sampling from the crowdsource entity dictionary used by the Chinese IME, SOGO. Secondly, each entity in the target set is used as a query term to retrieve all the relevant pages by the Baidu search engine. They will return the sentences containing the retrieval entities as the candidate subject sentence instances. Next, we invite three college students to annotate facts. The final data set consists of about 61,000 facts. Next, we propose a novel unified model called YOS for this task. In addition to encoding subject information by a subject guided encoder, we fold the semi open IE process into three uncoupled subtasks predicate extraction detect all the predicates for the given subject. Object extraction is similar to predicate extraction, but focusing on objects and lexical facts. Boundary alignment is to distinguish and align the boundary tokens of predicate object pairs from scratch. Their prediction results can be generated independently and don't contain any interdependency extraction steps. For each instance composing of a subject sentence pair, the subject guided encoder's goal is to integrate subject information into the word representations, which is in favor of the following process of extracting subject related facts. Specifically, we use BERT as our backbone network. To adapt BERT to consider target information, we are design target guided input. Each training instance 
is organized by con by concatenating the tokens of the target subject entity and the sentence tokens to form the package input sequence. Furthermore, to give context vectors more guidance towards the target entity, we introduced a novel conditional layer normalization mechanism based on the well-known layer normalization. This is to say we use the representation of the target subject entity in the output of the brush representations as a condition to generate the parameters of layer normalization. The, as mentioned in the introduction of dataset, predicate and object in our dataset may be discontinuous, so we propose a novel multi-hop tagging schema for this need. Due to time constraints, we cannot describe our tagging schema in detail here, but I suggest you read the original paper because it is a very interesting schema in discontinuous segment extraction. Note that our schema is to take into account both the continuous and the discontinuous segment extraction. So if we assume that the extraction targets are all the continuous segments, we can use a very simple BIO-based schema here. Boundary alignment is to align the boundary tokens of valid predicate object pair towards this goal, given an n-word sentence. We construct a n time n tag table and give each entry in the table a unique tag. Formally, two types of tags are defined as follows. The first one is predicate beginning to object beginning, PB to OB. It indicates it locates in a place that the two corresponding positions on the table are respectively the beginning tokens of a valid predicate object pair. The second one is predicate ending to object ending, PE to OE, is similar to PB to OB, but focusing on the ending token. An example of boundary alignment is provided, where the sentence contains two relational facts for the subject entity regarded. So the text of was mean is PB to OB. Similarly, PE to OE is labeled at the place of in periods here and here. So we utilize a unified architecture for predicate object, object extraction and boundary alignment according to our task formulation. The key information for recognizing the relationship between the S token XI and the JS token XJ include the cell semantic of XI and XJ and the context representation information related to XI and XJ. Under this consideration, we generate the representation PIJ for XI and XJ pair as equations 6 to 8. Equation 7 means the states at the two focused positions are used for comparing with all the token representations to collect relevant information for the token pair. Finally, we feed PIJ into a fully connected there and a softmax function to compute the tag distribution. Fun formally, the decoding process is summarized in algorithm 1. In the beginning, we extract all the decode all the detected uh, predicate lexical fact and object and uh, put them into the corresponding sets. Next, we construct a dictionary D predicate, which maps the beginning position of each predicate in S predicate, uh, the, the set of predicates to the corresponding predicates starting with this position. Similarly, we can construct the dictionary D object that maps object start positions to a set of objects that begin with this position. After that, we start to transpose in the boundary alignment tag table B to find all the 
positions with the PV2OB or PE2OE tags. So each entry ij in s beginning denoting that s i and j may be respectively the beginning position of a valid predicate object pair. We iterate all candidate pairs by pairwise combining d predicate i and the object j, and checking whether their ending position tuples exist in s end. If so, a new relational fact is extracted and added to the resulting set as well. Once all the elements in S beginning are iterated, this decoding function ends by returning S relaxical and S relational. In order to evaluate the effectiveness of our method, we conduct experiments on the semi open IE dataset. Uh, specifically, we adapt the recent set of the art information extraction models to semi open IE, which can be classified into three classes rule based, generation based, and tagging based. Table four, table 4 and 5 summarize the mean results. Our proposed model significantly outperforms computing baselines and achieves the best overall FE score. We find that our model has the significant advantage in extracting relational facts, because our model is single stage, and there is no interdependency among predicate extraction, object extraction, and uh, and uh, boundary alignment. So it reduces error propagation. On the contrary, the generation-based model and the previous tagging-based model are multi-stage. And there is explorer bias caused by the inconsistency between between training and the test. Furthermore, detailed analysis show that our model significantly improved the performance on multiple fact extraction, discontinuous fact extraction, and unseason fact extraction. However, our model has already gone production in the platform which continuously extracts the fact knowledge from general web corpus to populate the knowledge graph. Online testing shows that extraction results written by our model achieve an FE score of our 75%, demonstrating the applicability and the and the universal ability of our model. Interesting future directions, including the document level semi open IE and aligning extraction results with the knowledge base. We believe the new task and new algorithm will innovate the research community on new ideas and directions for information extraction. Thank you very much.